Hello, orange stickers. This is your first merry-go-round problem. If you need a hint, you are watching this. The sum of two non-negative numbers is 30. So we have x greater than 0, y greater than 0. Sum means we add them. Find both numbers if the sum of twice the first so let's just call x the first one, twice the first plus the square of the second is a maximum. And then part b asks for this being a minimum value. Now you might be thinking to yourself, what the heck, we don't have any information about what max value is supposed to be. And that I actually want to say is, well, this, we could write, what if we had this as f of x equals something, all in terms of one variable. Then we could use the first derivative to figure out critical points and maxes and mins. But the trick here is we don't have it in terms of one variable. We have 2x plus y squared and we want just f of x. So that is actually why they gave us x plus y equals 30. You can plunk that in. You don't have to solve for x. You could actually do, say, um, so you could go like this. So option one, y is equal to 30 minus x. So f of x is equal to 2x plus 30 minus x squared. And take up here, take the exact same root. Option number two is solve for y. Sorry, isolate x and plug in y. x equals 30 minus y. f of y equals 2 times 30 minus y plus y squared. And still do that same process. You should, on your sign analysis graph, have one x or y value here, but you also should, whoa, sorry folks, be checking your endpoints. We know that if this is for x, what is the smallest number that x could possibly be? Zero. And if x is zero, then y must be 30. If y is 0, then x, the largest it could possibly be, is 30. Check if your endpoints are absolute max or mins. Check if your endpoints are absolute max or min. In the equation, Two x plus y squared. That's really important to check. Good luck. I'll talk to you about this next week.